right, I want to start by uh, how I get on this bike. You know, you can tilt it to the side like that, make it easier, and then swing over. I use the throttle to get started, so I will jump on it and use the throttle to move me along, and then I'll start pedaling. And uh, a lot of times I start off in pedal assist three. I use pedal assist three most of the time. So I kind of put you in this view so you can see kind of where I'm at here. I love the throttle for uh, if you want to make really tight turns, you can use it. I think it's the best way because if you are in pedal assist one, two, or three, it may move you a little bit too too fast. But if you use the throttle, you can really control your uh, turn. So I use that a lot of times uh, when I'm doing really tight turns. I find it's very helpful. And uh, also starting out, I will floor the throttle while I'm pedaling and that'll get me going. I'll take you on my uh, little ride here. Hopefully we're gonna get some rain. Sorry, I haven't uh, been making a lot of videos. Uh, had somebody kind of really close to me pass away suddenly that hit me like a freight train. And uh, at this point I have lost my father, my sister unexpectedly, and my mother, and now my cousin. And uh, that's tough stuff takes a piece of you away. Anyway, enough of that. So, yeah, I find that uh, I use uh, Pedal Assist 3 most of the time and keep a steady 15 to 18 miles an hour. It's a real nice, easy pedal. Little resistance, but just very comfortable, easy on the knees, and so on and so forth. Also, I like to pump the brakes a little bit just to slow it down and uh so right now i am on uh 1300 miles 76 and the only thing i've had to really do is just adjust the uh, brakes i've been really pleased how the gears have been holding up everything's been holding up really well i try and ride every day if i can it's really been my saving grace through everything going on. And that's, where do we get on the other side here? Okay, so now I'm gonna floor my throttle and start pedaling and it really gets you going. So, and then when I'm on bike paths, you know, you don't want to be going 20 miles an hour on a bike path. You really want to slow it down around 15 at the most if you're around people. So what I'll do on that case is bring it down to pedal assist two. And 
happens when you're on a uh, bike path it's a lot smoother so your resistance is a lot better when you're on asphalt it tends to slow you down a little bit more but like I say on bike pass two is really nice But three is my favorite. So I'm in seventh gear in three. Try and bring it down a notch around people. So this is our local lake, paddleboard, kayak. Howdy, howdy. It is just gorgeous out here. This place is packed in the summer. There used to never be anybody out here. I love coming out when it's really hot in the afternoons because there's less people on the paths. Everybody's on the lake. So like I say, when you're around people, I like to slow it down a little bit. So I don't know if you can see the mountains way out there in the distance, but uh, they're a lot closer than they look. They're five miles away to the foothills and I don't know, maybe 30 up to the peak. Not a lot of people out here today because of the rain. Great spot though, I don't know if you can see real well. Very cool. Also, when you're first starting off, you definitely don't want to pedal when you're going around bends, but once you get used to this bike you will find that you can pedal when you're going around bends and it's pretty fun to do so you got to lean when you do it and you got to get used to leaning on this bike but you do have to be careful on edges i went down once if you can see on the edge of this bike path like on the right here i was trying to get around a service vehicle that was on a bike path in the middle of town and uh as i went around him and i tried to get back onto the path my tire kind of got stuck on the groove on the edge and uh i ended up going down didn't get hurt just scraped up a little bit like we're gonna go into a little bit of rain here see how long this lasts but uh, so here you go I'm gonna pedal around this bend coast a little bit and then I find when you're on this kind of dirt with bumps and stuff three is just pedal assist three is just way too fast 
So drop it down into two and it's perfect. I very seldom use pedal assists four and five. I can tell you when I use them the most is when uh, I'm trying to catch a light. If I'm on the road and the light turns green and I'm a little far behind and I know I can make the light, then I will definitely kick it up to four or five. I very seldom use pedal assist one. I'm pretty much in two and three most of the time. So on this, this is good in three because I can really crank around here. But you definitely want to keep two hands on the wheels because you just never know when you hit a bump. I know one time I was in an alley and I could not see the speed bump and uh, sent me flying. I was glad I had both hands on the wheel. So again, when I come around people, I like to slow it down. This has been just perfect weather. Been pretty warm as the high and hitting about almost 90 and uh, cooling down into the 60s at night. So uh, good sleeping weather, really nice. I love getting out when it's really sunny and being able to just catch some rays while you're riding the bike, listening to some tunes. Doesn't get any better than that for me. I'm so lucky to have this uh, bike path in my neighborhood. Oh, you're fine. I normally don't use my horn when I come up on people. I'll use it when I'm far away. Normally I use it just to say hello to other bikers, walkers, kids. They get a kick out of it. We are down on a farm. This is my daily route. I have different variations of it. Can't get busy out here in the summer, so I'll kind of hit the back neighborhoods. But man, you zip right up these little hills. You know, like I say, I'm in pedal assist three most of the time. I will do a 10 to 15 mile ride. About an hour, I'll stay on it. That's about as long as I can handle as far as my butt. You know, I think the key is getting your seat adjusted right makes all the difference in the world. You wanna make sure that your pedal extends all the way down. When you are uh, stepping on it, when you have your foot pushed down, you should be able to have your leg fully extended. 
And then when you're halfway, you should be able to have a 90 degree angle with your knee and your seat should be back accordingly. I've been having a hard time getting my seat all the way back. Uh, I think they made some adjustments on the new one. I haven't gotten a new uh, seat, uh, whatever you want to call them, shock or post, seat post. All right, gonna get a little bumpy in here with the camera, sorry about that. Now, I also will use my throttle and stuff like this just because uh, I can control the speed better. And I love it, or, or I will bring it down into one of the low gears. This is one of my spots I like to stop back here and take a gander. So this is the beach in the back. And uh, this is all paddle boards, any type of non-motorized boats. You're really not supposed to swim here, but people do. There used to be a swing back here, and uh, I think Boulder County took it out. But it is drop dead gorgeous. All right, I think we'll roll before these people. And like I say, I use the throttle to start. <laughs> cool dog. Luckily, they just redid the dam here because somebody must have drove across it after a rain and man, there were all kinds of grooves and stuff. I don't know if you can see the road where they patched it, but they did a really good job. Guy's making some time. We saw him and uh, we weren't even halfway on the other side. Well, actually, maybe we saw him when we were first starting out. So, this is uh, three and a half miles around here. I normally go around it once and then uh, I hit the uh, back roads. I like doing that. But I wanted you to be able to see my speedometer and where I'm at. And Now my speedometer is saying 17, 18. I think it's two miles off when I've double checked it sometimes with the uh, road speed check things. But man, this bike is fun to ride. It's a pleasure. I have no complaints. Really enjoyed it. I think eventually I may try and get a step through. You know, I'd love to have a box on the back to put some camera gear, but you gotta swing your leg over that. And I don't, I don't really wanna do that. So I usually, wear a backpack if I'm bringing a big camera with me. Lately, I haven't even been doing that. Been just uh, 
trying to keep my mind free and kind of enjoy life along the way here. You know, when you start losing people in your life that you don't expect to lose, that you think you're going to be able to spend your golden years with, and then that all changes, it's kind of a weird thing. It hit me like a freight train. Oh, we're going to go around just uh, halfway and then go into the neighborhood. It's a dog world out here. On your left. Normally I announce. I don't like to do the horn because sometimes I scare people. They say bells better, but nice setup. Dog power. Dog power. On your right. Baddy, honey. I also try and be friendly with most people, but I don't know what's going on in this world. Amen. Some people are, some people aren't. The big thing is you don't want to take anything personally. Some people are just in another world. I'm like that sometimes too. But it is gorgeous. You know, one thing about Colorado too is if it rains, it kind of just blows through. You can almost ride through it and then it's over. It doesn't rain for long periods of time here. It's very rare for it to rain a couple days in a row. Sometimes it does. We need it whenever we can get it, that's for sure. But that was the one reason I love Colorado is I like the dry air. I like the less rain. Warm air, cool nights. Yeah, we'll tell you with, uh, like I say right now, I'm sitting at 1,381 miles. And I would say I am ready for a new back tire. My front tire is pretty good, but my back tire is, if I keep riding it, I'm gonna end up getting a flat here. Then I'm gonna put some liners in there. Drop it down to two pedal assists. Slow it down around people. say you do get some looks on these things but you know you're starting to see more and more of them on the road and I think uh, it won't be long till you see a ton of these things on the road and it's everything's gonna change just like this lake I mean five years ago there was nobody out here now it's just super packed in the summer and it's probably the second third year of it it's 
especially since the pandemic. Now see, I use my uh, throttle for this. If you lean, makes it easy to turn. All right, we'll go in the neighborhood. Especially when you're wearing a camera, people start to get a lot of looks with that. That's why I don't like wearing a camera too much. So the other thing I like to do is take the back roads where there's really no traffic. Pretty easy. I don't know, I'm blowing through a stop sign, but it's kind of a weird stop sign area. Don't arrest me, please. And one thing I will say about this bike is I've been able to go anywhere in town. I could never do that before. I mean, I go to end to end, side to side, and uh, it's not a problem at all. I think eventually I'll get a second battery that way. If you try to do a super long trip, don't have to worry as much. Temperatures are still nice. Pretty soon it'll be a little chilly in the morning and be riding in the afternoons. See, now this stop sign, I'm going to stop more because it's heavily now. I'll start off, I hit my throttle all the way down. That way, starting up is really easy. You know, these bikes weigh a ton. So when you try uh, riding them without the pedal assist, you definitely feel it. You, do, you can't be in uh, gear seven you got to be in one, two, three, I think, when uh, maybe fourth gear when you're in pedal assist zero if you're not using any pedal assist. When you first get on the bike, you definitely want to ease into it because it's weird how foreign this bike will feel when you first get on it. And then after you ride it for a while, it's like anything else. It becomes second nature to you. Oh, this is one of my favorite roads just because it goes along this creek and it's always in the shadow. So it's a shady area when you're riding in the sun. I'm kind of glad it's a little overcast because then that way you can see my uh, speedometer a little bit better where I'm at. But like I say, man, it's been a really nice constant 17, you know, miles an hour. It's a really nice speed. So I am going to do a tight turn and I will use my throttle 
just to go back down there. It's all about getting exercise for me. Yeah, like I say, I use the horn mostly to say hello to people. I love it. And then if I really need it, you know, if I'm going through a tunnel underneath a underpass, I always beep it just because uh, if anybody's coming down, usually they're blind spots. Give them a little heads up. And this mirror has been fantastic. I think it's a must. You want to make sure that it extends far enough out and far enough high enough because if not, you're just gonna be looking at yourself and that's no good. I don't like the ones on the end of the handlebars that go under, I don't. Those are annoying for me. I also have a uh, cell phone mount that, you know, I don't really use it that much just because I don't like keeping my cell phone out like that. I keep it uh, down below in my uh, pack there and keep the tunes on and I don't really answer the phone unless I need to because uh, when I'm out riding that's kind of my time to just forget about stuff and get a little exercise and unplug and then that way when you go back in you're a little bit refreshed but Still trying to get my mojo back. Every time I get it back, something happens. Every single trip, I would say probably I'm up to seven trips now that have all, something has happened and they've all gotten canceled. Last one was gonna be Pittsburgh and my cousin suddenly passed away and I wasn't able to get back for the funeral and so there was just no way I was gonna go back uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. I would have been in tears the whole time. So that'll be another time, maybe next year. But we're still trying to get over to Asia if things ever get back to normal over there. But like I say, this bike has been my hallelujah. Good way to get out and enjoy it. And again, Anywhere I want to go in this town, I can go. Our town's probably 10 miles long and about five miles across the actual town. Then we have open space around it in Boulder County. like they're redoing this road. Yeah, I don't really like riding on the roads too much. Sometimes you don't have a choice. But every once in a while you'll get some jag-offs that'll get too close or want to mess with you or you get some young kids that yell some stuff out at you. I don't know. Everybody's got to mess with everybody anymore. Can't we all just get along? Nah, it's not that bad, but you got to be careful. You got to stay on your toes. Yeah, really nice temperatures today. Well, let's see, we're, we just did 8.3 miles. There's my uh, voltage. Been on the bike for 34. That's the other thing too, is I normally look at the time when I go and then I gauge it from how long I'm riding. So if I leave at 4.30, I know it's a little after five right now. And uh, usually I'm just listening to tunes. 
soaking it all up. See now here I'm going around a bend, I'm leaning and I'm pedaling and it is fun and it's not a problem. You just have to get used to how much the uh, pedal assist is gonna affect you. Howdy man. All right, so. Sometimes I will stay off that bike path just because there's too many people. And this is where, uh, woo, this is where the boat launch is. So people tend to blow up their boats right on the path. It takes a while for them to get the hint that, hey, pedestrians and bikers need to get through. But, uh, see, this is the launch area. All right, well, short ride. Let's see if I can give you the view through the trees. Yeah, I love using the throttle when I get on, man. It's like giving you a leg up. All right, I'm gonna go up a little hill on my way out here. So on this, I will uh, drop it down to fourth or fifth gear and just go right up this baby. I mean, I really don't even need to do that. As long as you're pedaling good. You know, I don't think you should buy these and use the throttle all the time. If you're gonna do that, get a motorcycle, get a moped, get something else, but you're just gonna burn out the motor. All right, how do I get so lucky? So again, I pull my throttle all the way down. Now I'm going back into seventh gear and it is smooth sailing. Just enjoyable. Everybody out getting their exercise. That's what it's all about. You got to move and you got to groove. That's the secret to life. You got to keep it moving and grooving. Can't be laying on the couch all the time. Next thing you know, they'll say, what do you die from? And they'll say, couch, laying on the couch. He died from couch. Yeah, the other thing too about these e-bikes is if you're over 50 some years old and out of shape, they'll help, it'll help you ease back into it. Plus it just, the hills, man, you can zip right up them. You know, like I say, don't use the throttle because you're just going to ruin the bike in the long run. You want to drop the gears down and pedal, pedal, pedal and get some exercise out of it. Okay. I'm gonna kick it up to pedal assist four because I wanna pick up some speed here. And then back down to three.
new gloves love them took a little bit to get them broken in not too much but uh they're pretty comfortable they were inexpensive and they fit my purpose you know there's a lot of good deals out there if you look for them but if you got the money to spend on super good gear go for it man nothing wrong with that I'm always on a damn budget because it's just so much stuff to get between equipment gear trying to slow down on all that stuff seemed like every few years I had to buy a new camera every few years I had to buy a new computer it gets hard to keep up if you keep doing that and I am definitely slowing down So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Take a little time to subscribe to my channel. And I uh, appreciate you taking the time and watching this. Leave a comment. Got any tips? Leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, this is Bo. See ya! I'm gonna slip this in here. All right, so I've got uh, 1,385 miles on it. That ride was uh, almost 10 miles. Forty-nine point one uh, volts. So I uh, still got a lot of power left. About 40 minutes since it's been running since I've been sitting here. And again, there's my uh, total. So uh, I had a full charge when I went out. And what I will do is ride it one more time and then I will charge it up. I don't like to charge it when it's uh, barely showing anything used. But I will also make sure I don't go on a super long ride.